So it's 33 years to a bloody crackdown that took place in Beijing on the 4th of June, way back in 1989. The Chinese troops had, se had sent in their tanks to try and break up a peaceful protest, crushing a weeks-long wave of demonstrations calling for political change and action against corruption. 33 years on, China continues with its crackdown on the Tiananmen Square commemorations, where the country's communist regime has started public safety and order as the reason for not allowing any candlelight vigils to mark the crackdown. Beijing has also heightened its security around its Tiananmen Square, while the police in Hong Kong has warned people to not step out for any gatherings. The police has said they will let close down large parts of Victoria Park, which used to be packed due to annual candlelight vigils commemorating China's Tiananmen Square crackdown. But the authorities have also warned people that going to the park on the 4th of June could actually put them at risk of breaking the law. I'm a stress that if you are staying together with a group of people uh, at the same place at the same time and with a, with a common purpose to express uh, certain views, it is already uh, meeting the definition of a uh, topic of a meeting. And depending on the number of persons uh, at the scene, that may contravene offences, including an authorised assembly or, or due to the act they even contribute other more serious offences. Remembering the Chinese government's brutal clampdown on peaceful protesters has been forbidden in the mainland. But semi-autonomous Hong Kong was one place where large-scale remembrances were still tolerated. The change, of course, came after Beijing imposed a wide-reaching national security law back in 2019. In reaction to the city-wide pro-democracy protests as China strives to remove all reminders of the 1989 crackdown. Now it has gone to exhaustive lengths to try and erase the memory, the collective memory of Tiananmen Square, omitting it from school textbooks, censoring online discussions and also removing related monuments from various places. Sunday,立足都是一個很有意思的一件事 Now, the Hong Kong alliance over incitement and subversion had, had in fact been s subjected to a crackdown in September last year. Its leaders were arrested and their museum was shuttered after a police raid. The authorities had in fact restricted gatherings in 2020 and 2021 as well citing coronavirus restrictions. Now, the activists have demanded that they should be allowed to gather in Taiwan's capital, Taipei, in remembrance of the protesters, like the only part of the Chinese-speaking world where such a public event can in fact take place. Meanwhile, people gathered at the Victims of Communism Memorial in Washington, D.C., marking the 33rd anniversary of the Tiananmen Square Massacre. The U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, also paid his tributes to the pro-democracy student protesters, saying that these brave individuals will not be forgotten. Now, the 4th of June in 1989, the Chinese government had sent troops and tanks and had even opened fire the pro-democracy protesters who were demanding for political change. Hundreds, by some estimates, more than a thousand of these young demonstrators, most of them were college and university students, had been killed in the crackdown by the Chinese government back in 1989. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.